Hello ladies and gentlemen, now, this is a video that I didn't think I'd be making in a way that I didn't think I'd be making it. I've come uh, today to uh, a beach, rather importantly to a rather rocky uh, beach, it's full of pebbles. I don't like walking on pebbles, I am get a bit un uneven and it, it, it's difficult. And I thought I'd make a video here and I'd do a, a, a nice seascape. Well, it turns out that there isn't any sea today. Uh, the tide is right out at the moment, but that's okay because you've got these really, really lovely sort of striations uh, in the beach uh, where this sort of this rock and this clay uh, have been moulded over, over the years. But uh, I have completely forgot to bring my, the camera that I normally film with. So this is recorded on my iPhone, which I don't normally do. I also have to be a little bit careful today because just a foot that way is a cliff, is a drop. And I'm, uh, they say don't get too close to the edge of the cliff. I don't think I am too close to the edge of the cliff, but if I'm honest, maybe I'm a little bit closer than I like because I'm also not that keen of height on heights. This is why I'm not a good landscape photographer. I don't like heights and I don't like pebbles. So beaches and mountains, that's just completely out for me. Anyway, let's go through the shot because I've got the shot set up on the camera right now. Okay, so everything's balanced rather precariously at the moment, so I do apologise for that. And of course, I apologise for the sound as well, because I don't have the right connectors. I can't get the sound into the uh, the camera in the way that I normally would do. And I'm, I'm forgetting that I'm looking over here, we're right in the centre of, of the shot, but actually the camera's off to my this way so everything's a little bit awkward with the uh, with the phone today however I've got a shot here uh, and I'm recording it at the moment so we should be able to see that on screen right now now what I've got on here uh, if we have a look here I've got this uh, on on the um, the right hand side there you've got this jutty out you just see it behind me this uh, jutty out piece of rock um, and I quite like that in terms of the way that it, it frames everything Right in the background, uh, we've got that uh, that sticking out jetty thing. Looks quite good to me. Um, that's right now. Uh, Position-wise, that's right in the centre of the frame right now. And so what we also have is the leading lines. You've got down, down here, you've got all these leading lines on the beach. They're all sort of moving their way towards, around towards that. Now, I'm not actually framing this using the rule of thirds, but I am using uh, some uh, ideas that are kind of baked into the rule of thirds in order to make it work. I'm also doing something a little bit different for this shot. I'm not just taking a single shot. I'm going to be taking a panorama. Now, I've got this set up at the moment. I'm just going to turn the recording off here. Uh, and I've got this set up at the moment. Uh, in a, a very portrait way, really, so that I could take a recording and sh so you could see what would happen. But actually, when I take this shot, I'm going to do it uh, as portrait. Ah. So now that we've reorientated the is that a word? Reorientated. That's the right word. Yes. Now that we've re reorientated the camera, uh, what I'm able to do is use... This is a great feature of this particular tripod, and I know a lot of other tripods that have got the ball heads on do the same thing. Uh, they've got this uh, central column here, so we've already got everything. The ball head is all set, and all we can do... This central column will just swivel left and right, and it will just let, mean that you can take those panorama shots. Now, it's not going to be the best panorama in the world. Uh, Lightroom's going to have to sort out the geometry of this, but that's okay in 90% of the cases. So I've got this on a two-second timer. Um, where are we? We're on F10 at the moment, and the ISO is right the way down to 80. Uh, because we're on the tripod, we don't need to worry too much about vibrations and things. I'm going to move this right over to the edge of the picture and take the first shot. I'm right at the edge of the picture. I do want to get in. There's a bit of a, a kind of a, a gap in here. I, I want to get in the, um, uh, the, the, the inner bit of the ravine. So you actually, you're, you're seeing, is ravine the right word? No, it probably isn't. Uh, so that you're seeing the whole of the landscape there. Let's just take that shot now. Okay, so shifted the camera around a little bit, and you can see, hopefully, uh, I don't know what you're get quite getting on this video, but you should be able to see that actually that move didn't happen. You know, it's not a, a massive move, but I've got the next part of the, uh, 
uh, the thing in, in shot. So uh, at this point, I'm going to probably change the focus a little bit, and I want to focus... I want to focus right on the, the furthest part of the image. And basically, I'm focusing on infinity here. Um, they do say two-thirds up, but two-thirds into the distance rather than two-thirds into the picture uh, in this instance, I think. Uh, anyway, that's the second shot. Let's take that. Wait for it to go off. Move the camera around again. Take that. Now you're going to notice at this point, I'm not going to change the focus in between shots. I've got it right for the first image because I want that, that uh, foreground rock to be in, in focus. But the rest of it uh, should blend together quite nicely. Now, there's a bit of a benefit here at the moment because we're not doing this uh, with a long exposure. If you were doing this with a long exposure, you'd have to uh, make sure your camera's absolutely completely still. But with the shutter speeds that we're getting at the moment, and I've got it on automatic shutter. I've basically, I've set the aperture to f10, uh, I think it's on, which is where I wanted it to make everything sharp. And I've set my ISO as low as I wanted it to go because it didn't need to be anything more. Uh, and then I'm just letting it sh sort the shutter speed out uh, on its own. Not a long exposure doesn't have to be in this instance. I think, I think, one more and we're done. There we go, that's it. We're actually done, we've taken that picture. So let's put that back into Lightroom and let's see how we get on. Once stitched together in Lightroom, this is the image I finally got, and I was very pleased with it. Focusing on infinity meant that I've got everything sharp throughout the frame, and I really like the way that the beach leads you towards the rest of the landscape. I also think this is a particularly good sky. But this wasn't the only shot that I got that day. A little further down the beach, I found this heart made of pebbles, and I thought that it made a great shot across the bay. I also took another panorama at this location as well. Unfortunately, that day had a lot of issues, and I couldn't talk about the second setup, as there was a lot of wind as well as someone playing loud music. After they left, and towards the end of the day, I took some time to reflect on what I'd got. I've just been sat waiting for the wind to die down or for the uh, noise that's around to, to sort of dissipate somehow for the people to leave the beach. And it's actually, it's slowly happening because it's getting to be that time of day. Um, but it, there is this problem when you come anywhere that is uh, especially sort of semi-beachy. Somebody will be there if you're on a, you know, if you're a weekend shooter, then the chances of you getting to a beach sometime when there isn't anybody around is pretty, pretty low. Uh, unless you go there for like the sun sets, the sun rises, that sort of thing. But we can't always shoot in those conditions. You can't always shoot in perfect conditions. Now, today has been particularly difficult. And the second shot that I took, which I tried to do some video of, terrible wind noises. Um, and uh, if, you're, uh, if you're thinking that the wind right now is difficult, then it, it was worse when I was sat over by the coast. That was a difficult shot as well, because what I had to do was basically shoot into the sun, and that's never uh, a particularly easy thing to do. Uh, I didn't bracket it this time. I'm hoping uh, that there is enough dynamic range in the camera to handle uh, the transition between what was a dark landscape and a bright uh, landscape. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But it was an interesting experiment nonetheless, and uh, something uh, that I've actually really quite enjoyed. This beach is actually part of the Jurassic coastline, uh, which means that there are a bunch of fossils and things down there. And it's a really pebbly beach, and it's a really stony beach. And like I said earlier, I don't really like those. But actually today, uh, it's been a bit of a benefit because the leading lines that I've been able to take from that has likely helped uh, with the composition uh, of the photos that I've taken. Now, I've only got three photos today. I did do a composition which was looking the opposite direction of where I was in the first one and along the coast uh, a little bit. But 
there were things that were against me. I mean, firstly, people. You can't come to a beach uh, and expect there not to be people around. Secondly, wind, like you can probably hear in the microphone. I've got no way of recording uh, this microphone properly for you right now, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, any buffeting that you're getting is just a, a sample of what there was down uh, on the actual the actual beach. Um, although it's much cooler up here than it was off by the coast, which seems to have become incredibly uh, warm today. Uh, not always a problem, obviously, and a lot of people like that sort of thing. Not always great for taking photos. Now, right now, the sun is starting to come through uh, the clouds, but earlier in the day, we've had this really cloudy weather. And to be honest, I didn't think that we were necessarily going to get anything today. I thought uh, coming up here, because it was raining and it was misty, I thought we might get a really nice sort of misty cliff shot in the rain. And I didn't really expect other people to be here because of the rain. Um, but, but actually, I think the shots that I got are quite interesting and I'm looking forward to getting them back into the computer. And what with the wind that I've had uh, today, that just about wraps up my day. And I'm at a point now where actually I have to start heading for home. This isn't the day uh, that I'd set out to take a sunset and there are places that I need to be uh, this evening. Even so, I think I've got something interesting for today. Definitely something that I'll be interested in posting on Twitter and on Instagram to see what you guys think about it. Here is that final panorama. The most difficult thing about this was getting plenty of time when there was no one in shot to take each frame. So I had to compromise a little, and that can always affect what lighting conditions you're able to shoot in. I did take multiple frames of the same exposure to make it easier to remove people in post. I'd love to know what you think about this image. I was very happy with it. Well, that's it for this video, uh, shorter than usual perhaps, uh, but I do hope that there was something in here that you found interesting. If you've liked what you see today, then please do hit that subscribe button, the little bell icon, and the all notifications box, and I'll do my best to make it worth your while. I'll be back on Thursday with another video, and until then, thanks for coming along, and don't forget, keep taking those pictures.